Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to show you how you can use Word to create a certificate and many other types of documents such as flyers or birthday cards and things like that. So on the screen, I've got one that I've already created. Apologies for my design styles, I'm not very good at design, but the method and where I get the information from is what I'm trying to show you in this little video. So I will recreate this on a blank file for this to control n and change the layout to landscape so the first thing i want to do is put a page border around this document so I've gone to the home tab to borders borders and shading and page border at the bottom here you've got this option so it's page border and you can use the art feature so if I drop that down, you have lots and lots of different styles. I want to do a certificate, so I'm going down near the bottom because I know there are some sort of like fancy edges like this. So I'll click on that one and it's got there apply to the whole document. And if you go to options, you can mess about with these margins if you so wish to make it bigger. And you've also got whether it's near the edge of the page or it's near the text. I'll leave it on edge of page and then I'll click OK and then OK again and then that sits nicely around your page so that's quite cool now I want some text boxes and I'm going to use word art and I'm also going to put an image in the background of this certificate like a watermark now if I go and ins insert a photograph and I first of all need to get into the header and footer so I'm just going to double click in this space here that's I'm now in the header and then if I go to the insert tab and get a an image from this file so these are all thumbnails we're going to do a word one so I don't know what that one is going to look like let's have a look at that that'll do now when you when a photograph or an image comes in by default in word it's not wrapped so the header has gone all the way down to the bottom of the page so all of this space is actually the header you can see it there, head and footer. So the only place, when if I came out of this now, the only place I'd be able to type would be in this small area there. So what you need to do is use this tool to go and set text wrapping. And I want this to be behind text. As soon as I do that, look, the head has gone back up to the top. And now I've got all this page I can, I can um, use. Now, if you want to make this a bit bigger, so like that. So I could sit it like that. It might be too intrusive. I don't know yet until I have a look. But I can move it around. And if I click outside of the header, that is now in the background. And I can't actually click on it. So it's it's in the background there. Now, I want the date and time to be on this certificate because I'm going to save it as a template. So I need to go to the Insert tab. And on the right hand side, you've got date and time. And have it in that format. This is automatically updating. So that will change. Now straight away I'm not happy about that because it's sitting over a bit of text. So I'll just tab that across into a space where I can see it. So it's white. Just went too far there. So that's the background and the edge, the border if you like. Now I need to put some information in the middle. I'm going to use Word Art. So I'm, I'm still on the Insert tab. And I'll just pick one of these styles. You have passed, for example. In fact, undo that. I don't want it inside there, do I? So I'll just click on, so on, on away from this date. Put it in the middle. Pick that one. Let's see if that's better. You have passed. And then just put that where I want it to be now you've got on the shape format shape fill so I'm going to do that fill I quite like that and you've got shape effects you can put a shadow on this I will put a shadow on it not that you can see it very well but you can see that sitting in the middle and then I'm just going to copy that and paste it below so it's two on there and then I'm going to put what the course is in this one so it's going to be introduction 
to Excel. And I'm just going to move that across a bit, center it. There we go. Now I want a piece of information here that's going to be the course content and the piece of information here that's going to be um, who the instructor was. And I'm going to use just a normal text box. So I'll just draw one. I'll draw the text box. Just draw it over here. It doesn't need to be too big. And then content. This is a course content. So basically just putting a few in, a few things in here. Sums, charts, functions, linking, and all the things that you do formatting that'll do. And then just click away from that and these all need to be made bigger. So I'm using control on the square the right square bracket to make that bigger. And I also want to color that in so it's the same color as these and I'm going to use some preset bevel options that one yeah quite like that content and then if I copy this one just click on the outside of it copy and then just paste it and move it across so it's the same size and then I'll just flip it the other way get it right over here actually that'll do so I'll go to shape format and pick a different preset option. So probably that one, maybe that one, that'll do. So this is just going to say instructor. Instructor me. And underneath student, and I'll leave that blank. So that I'll add their name. Now in the middle I want uh, an Excel logo, so let's insert a picture, so a picture from this device, got one in documents, Excel, now that's coming without wrap text on it, so I need to do that behind text so I can move it, you don't have to do behind text, you can do, use any one of these, it doesn't have to be that one, so I've got a big space up here, um, there's not a lot I can put up there really. You could make these a bit bigger or push these up. So they didn't. That's better. So they sit in the middle and make these a bit bigger if you want, just so it it sits nicely. Now, if this is all you want, Word's quite good. You've got Microsoft Publisher as part of Office, part of Office. So in there you've got some preset templates and things like that. But if you want to use Word, just a simple form like this, and hopefully you're better at doing design than I am. And then what you can do, if you're going to use this over and over again, you can just go File, Save As, and select a document template as an option, Word template, call it um, Certificate, and that's it. So save that. This is now going to be called Certificate, and it's .tx. So now it's a template. If I close it down, Control w to close the window, and that's the one I did before. Just close that one down, Control w click on it first, Control w I don't want to save that one, because I've got a template, I can go File, even though it's there, it wouldn't always be there. To get a template, you go File, New, and Personal, and then it should be there, look, Certificate, and then you open it, and then it's Document 3, so it's a copy of the certificate. Now, if you haven't got a folder, if I go new, you should have like personal, and that's where they should be. If that it doesn't exist on your computer, you need to go into options and save and um, template options, personal templates folder. That's where you should have them in there. That can change on the network and you can change that folder, but it, this needs to be filled in. So that's just a quick look at how you can use words, borders, word art, shapes, text boxes and pictures to create your own little certificate. So hopefully that's been of use. Thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one.